read along with me. For this video, we are going to read Oxford Level 3 Reading Practice. And you can read the stories about Zoom Food, Toads in the Road, Leak Hot Pot, Silver Foil Rocket, By the Stream, The Right Home, Ron Roberts Big Day, and Home for a Night. Let's get started. Zoom Food. Try to read along and practice with me. In this story, Jin. Jin can zoom up and up. He can go as high as a rocket. Mrs. Butterworth. Ben. Jin is not as fast as Ben. I need food that will help me go fast. We can look at my cookbooks. Jin picks a book. Mrs. Butterworth gets a pan. She drops in a turnip, a beetroot, popcorn. This is for a burst of speed. Jin slurps up the zoom food. Jim zooms off. Jin, you had too much zoom food. Jin zooms past Ben. Jin is going too fast. He has to turn. Help! He shoots up to the stars. Jin turns again. He zooms back. I cannot stop. Quick, Ben. Help me pull this. Crash bag. Ben helps Jin get off the crash bag. Good job, Ben. Toads in the road. Try to read along. A toad was on the road. You will get hurt. Dad, put the toad down. You will not get hurt now. Loads of toads. Dad ran to get mom. Quick, loads of toads are on the road. Mom rang Wilma's mom. Quick, toads are on the road. Dad got beef and chip. Quick, toads are on the road. Wilma's mom had a big coat for dad. Dad put the coat on. They ran to get the toads. Pick up the toads. Get them off the road. A coach load of men ran up. Toads, turn back. We can pick up toads with you. The men ran to pick up the toads. Top job. Now they will not get hurt. The road was shut. Men dug it up. They put a toad run in the road. The toads will not get hurt now. Next, leak hot pot. Try to read with me. Beef and Chip had a cookbook. We will cook for mom. They had lots of leeks. We can cook a leek hot pot. No, Floppy, this is not for you. Can you peel the leeks? We can cook them with chicken. We need a deep pot. Dad put the chicken in the pot. I can see you, Floppy. Biff put in the leeks. Then Dad put the pot on the hob. No, Floppy. Beep, beep, beep. Dad took the lid off the hot pot. It looks good. Can I feed Floppy? Yes, but not the hot pot. Mom had been to the shop. Look, we got this for Floppy. Look, a leak hot pot for you. And a nut pot for Floppy. Next, silver foil rocket. It was the summer carnival. 
Wilf's dad was keen to win the cup. This is for the carnival. We can put fun hats on. Fun hats will not win us the cup. Are you sure? No. We can sing rock songs. Pure silver. Yes, we can be pure silver. We will not win the cup. How can we win? We can go in a silver moon rocket. Yes, with moon men in orbit. They got oil barrels for the rocket. Join them up. They put fins on the rocket. We need silver foil. They got cord and card for a banner. Kids in orbit. Get that corner keeper. They set the rocket up. They put the banner on. It's cool. They had fun at the carnival with the silver foil rocket. Put coins in the bucket. The rocket was the winner. Good for you, keeper. It's pure silver. Next story. The ride home. So here... We are going to read all about a home for me. These are the contents. Roof of plants. Home in a tree. Home in the rock. Home on stilts. Tent. The right home. A home for you. Look back explorers. Let's get it started. I need a home that is right for me. My home needs to be fun. Let me see. This home is fun. It has plants on the roof. This is good, uh, but I need bigger plants. This home is in a tree. You go up a ladder to get to it. This home is too high for me. This home is down in the rock. It keeps cool in the sun. No, my home must be near a river. A home on stilts is good if the river gets high. I need my home to go with me. You can pack up a tent and put it up again. A big storm might get me wet in a tent. You need a canal boat. It can go on a river. It looks fun and it has plants on the roof. Pick a home that is right for you. Roof of plants, home in a tree, home in the rock, home on stilts, tent, or canal boat. Look back, explorers. How do you get to the home in the tree? What must the boy's home be near? Why do you think a home on stilt is good if you live by a river? Did you find out where this home is? Next. Home for a night. Dad had a surprise. Can we look yet? Said Keeper. No, not yet. Said Dad. Now you can look. Said Dad. It's a yurt. How fantastic. It is a home for the night. Said Biff. It's it is big, said Keeper. Look at all the rugs. It will be a fun home for the night, said Chip. This is a surprise, said Biff. Wilf and Wilma are camping near us. Mom saw a flash of lightning. Quick, she said, get in the yurt. It was a big storm. Lots of wind and rain, said Keeper. Will it ever stop? The storm did stop, but the tent was a mess. The things are all wet, said Wilf. We cannot sleep in the tent. The yurt has lots of room, said Mom. You can sleep in it with us. This is such fun, said Biff. We can chat all night. Hush! said the moms and dads or we will never get to sleep 
Retell the story. You can look at the pictures and retell the story in your own words. And you can read all of this if you want to review or ask answer questions about the story. Next, by the stream. Mom and Dad sat on the rug. The children played by the stream. Biff went on the bridge. They dropped sticks in the water. Keeper couldn't see. Keeper climbed up. He dropped Teddy in the water. Get Teddy, said Keeper. Biff couldn't get Teddy. Get Teddy, said Keeper. Mom couldn't get Teddy. I want Teddy, said Keeper. Dad couldn't get Teddy. Dad fell in. Splash! I am a frogman, said Dad. Next one, Ron Rabbit's Big Day. Ron Rabbit has a new job. He is a milkman. Ron has to get up, get up at 6. The sun is not up yet. Ron fills his van with milk. Then he sets off. Mrs. Jessup needs one bottle of milk. Ron dumps it on the step. Two bottles for Miss Quinn. Three bottles for Mr. Chang. Mr. and Mrs. Preston have ten children. They need ten bottles of milk. Ron is getting the bottles from his van when he sees a man. The man is creeping along. Is it Mr. Preston? No, this man is not as thin and he has a big black sack on his back. When the man sees Ron, he runs. Stop, yells Ron. He runs after the man. Ron trips the man up. The man drops the sack and Ron grabs it. The man runs off. In the sack are lots of things. A clock, a pink jug, a big cup, a green lamp, and a cash box. Ron rings the bell. Mrs. Preston is cross. I was asleep, Ron, she says. But then she sees all the things and Ron tells her about the bad man. Thank you, Ron, says Mrs. Preston. Mr. Preston rings the cops. The cops catch the bad man. Ron gets a medal. So this is the end of the story. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And you can read along with this video all about the Oxford Level 3 reading practice, Zoom Food, Toad in the Road, Lick Hotspot, Silver Foil Rocket, and the other stories that are included here. So that's it. You please try and practice.